Traveling to the Pacific Northwest at this time in October has been a blast. The weather, absolutely incredible. The real Seattle and Washington is a hidden American gem. The sort of place that Americans don't even come to. Particularly this little pocket doesn't nearly get the credit it deserves. Let's start with the city of Seattle. The city and its market is a historical gem. The stories here and the food experiences can rival even some of the best markets throughout Europe. But then even the late night culture in Seattle. There are cosmopolitan bars, dive bars, and some of the greatest restaurants I've had the pleasure of tasting since being in the US. While you're here, you must also check out Easy Street Records. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can tell you really what it is, but you got it. One of the coolest little record shops I've been to in Seattle, as well as an underground radio station called KEXP. It's not your average radio station. It's possibly one of the coolest community centers I've ever been to. It's got a coffee shop, a really cool area where people just sit around and do some work, listening to music. KEXP is something like 3 million YouTube subscribers and an amazing cultural and institutional hub for local creatives to visit while in the city. But as you start to head west, of Seattle, that's where the forest meets the sea in the Pacific Northwest. It's here you find an ancient landscape, but also peppered by Victorian era towns with their incredible architecture, still completely intact from the late 1800s. Huge, deep blue harbors where sailboats and fishing boats just bob up and down in the horizon. There are buskers in the street where they serenade tourists in the sun. You can pop into any coffee shop or ice creamery and it looks like you've stepped into an episode of Pleasantville. And then the seafood is next level. We happen to be here for the Dungeness Crab Festival, especially given we visited the Dungeness Spit where the crabs are actually caught before they migrate down to California. On this trip in the beautiful Washington state, we adventure into kayaking across some impossibly deep lakes, driving through Douglas fir trees on these amazing mountain roads. It's easy to forget that you've been here just a few days because everyone here and everything you see makes you feel like you've been here for a billion years. It's the landscape and it's the smells and it's the people and it's the food that give you this sort of meditative feeling when you're traveling here. It allows you to fit heaps in and you do so much. That's what I feel like since I've been in Washington. I felt like at home. It hasn't been frenetic like my normal American trips, but I've done so much and it has just felt special. If you are looking for a state that is completely out of the box, this is Washington. Not New York, not Miami, this is Washington. Not the other Washington DC, Washington State. It's tiny but massive in the corner that no one goes to. Visit Washington, do yourself a favor, you won't regret it.